G'day and welcome back wonderful skiers. In this video I'm going to share with you 10 drills to improve you as a freestyle skier. These are drills I've come across and developed myself over the last 10 plus years of freestyle coaching. Enjoy! One. Here's a little drill for you, and it's a four point landing. And it looks something like this. First of all, you can try it in your ski boots and practice your pop, move forward, and land with the four points in. Something like this. That's pretty easy, so try it off jumps, and it's gonna help you move that way forward and hit that landing perpendicular. All right, four point landing of a little jump. Nice strong pop. Boom, ready to get rowdy here. Slightly bigger jump. Drill two. So the next little drill we're gonna do is the spready, or pop, wait, then spready. It's not that we actually do delays in the air when we do tricks. This drill is designed to make you completely pop. So what you do is that you pop, then wait in the air, kind of straight legs, then you do a spready. It will teach you some patience. Drill three. Now we're gonna do the ollie over drill. This is where we ollie over or onto a bunch of stuff. First up, how to ollie. Find good ski uh, balance. And you really wanna use your arms and like roll onto the tail. And then last minute, get those arms up and extend the legs. Gotta look like this in slow motion. Whoa. Next thing you can do is that you can put a pole on the slope, ollie over it. After that, you can have a friend hold it up for you to make it more difficult. Apparently I touched it. What? Ah. Shit. Ah. That was hard work. Word of caution about ollies. Don't even attempt doing this before you do perfect pops every time of jumps. Because it can really confuse you what technique you should be using. You do absolutely not want to use ollies when you should be popping, ever. <laughs> Maybe you wonder why should I learn ollies? How does it help the rest of my freestyle skiing? The answer is it kind of doesn't, but it's hella fun. When you learn it, you'll be ollieing over all kinds of stuff, and it's great. You can also have some fun ollie over stuff. If you want to learn more, why not join one of our ski technique freestyle or freeride camps for adults? Maybe see at one of them. Duck. Drill four. Boom, now we're going to do one of my favorite drills for skiers who've learned to like slide a flat box. So when you do this, ideally you want to have a line in the ground and then do the following. We balance on the front foot's heel and then the back foot's toe. It's kind of hard. This way you can start rotation. But you do the opposite, that you have the front foot's toe down and the back foot's heel down to spin the other way. And if you balance this way, you'll automatically on the box or rail start rotating front side. Then you can try doing it with the heel down and the toe down. That will rotate your backside. No matter how good ski you are, I'm sure you can benefit from this drill. You can try any trick. But the first one is to imagine like you're doing a proper rail slide, rotate on it, stop that rotation, and then rotate back to forwards, doing a front side 90 out. Next thing we can try is a straight on approach to a rail with a rotation on, stop that rotation with a front heel, then change to the toe down, and then set off a rotation to switch like this. Stop it, change to switch. Now let's try to jump onto the rail from the side. Come in with a slight carve, with a bit of rotation, and jump, lamp in the middle of the rail. Block. Nice. So realistic, actually. All right, let's try a legendary trick, the two prets two, from a side approach. Carve it in gently, wind up. Damn it, I missed the rail. <laughs> oh, yes. That felt good. Let's try k -fed. On, heel down, swap, then front foot, toe down. Something like this. Whew. 
Let's do the opposite of the K-Fed, which is the Britney, which is the following. So you rotate on, ideally stop it, change, do a back swap, and then to a front 270 out. On a real rail, as soon as you start blocking, locking, scissoring, you will start rotating, maybe get the rail between your legs. So you have to block, stop, start again when you want to start a rotation in any direction, kind of like this. Rotate on, stop it, flat, relax. Start locking again, and you go automatically out in the direction you choose. Two, five, ow! Next drill is a snowball on a box. This drill is designed to teach you to, A, first pop onto the box, land in a nice box like position like such, then have a pop, and then land in this good position again. And the ball is gonna force us to do it. About two thirds of the box, because you should take some time to find the position in the beginning of the box. So that's to give ourselves some more time. I'm gonna rotate on. Keep that rotation out. Drill six. T-set 180s. No matter how good you are, it's great to practice T-set in your rotation sometimes. Just to remind yourself to complete the wind up, the pop, to make sure that you're pointing more or less straight towards the landing, and then the rotation happens. And uh, doing this drill standing still looks something like this. Stand here, arms out, and as you sink down for the pop, the knees twist a little bit, the hip too, but you remind upright and straight with the body weight between both your boots. And then you explode up into a nice little 180. Nice. Drill seven. Now we're gonna learn a T-set 180 to a lay 180, also known as a 360. No, oh, I forget I said that. It's not a 360. Because if you think 360, you're gonna mess it up, you're gonna over try. So it's a T-set 180 with a late pull in, okay? Something like this. So arms straight out, just like on the other T-set. We do a full 180 before we pull in the arms. Nothing different. We're not gonna try really hard or anything. Think down, go up. It was a three, no, I was saying that. When I see you, I pull in. Then you can try the 180, late 180 on a slope with the skis on, because the skis are too heavy for you to really do it. T-set, set it off, and then pull in. And allow a little side slip. It keeps helping you to build that patience and also some edge control. Makes you feel that it's fine to under-rotate the 360, for example. On three. Drill eight. Here's a fun drill for you, spin to win. I really enjoy it in the spring usually. My, me and my friends, we might challenge each other doing this. So first of all, you gotta guess how much you can spin on your way down and then you try to achieve it. It's pretty simple. So I think I can do a 540 next to the rail, followed by a switch five because it's bad omen to revert when you're doing a line. And then into 720 over the shitty little jump. And then, a 540, I think, over the flat box. A 2340 degree rotation throughout this run. Woo! Oh, now it's a seven, it's gonna suck. Oh, that was tight. That was my favorite part, the last five. Spin to win for you all. <laughs> Boom. Trick nine. Switch revert, an essential skill to get back to straight again. All right, first you should just learn to ski switch. But it's not that different, I just quickly change the forwards by Shifting my weight a little bit to the tails, allowing them to grip, helping me spin around. And one final tip, keep your feet really close together to avoid that you catch on the inside edge. Quickly, 
revert to forward again. A cool way to do this is with more of an ollie. So it shifts it even more to the tails. Now I actually did a switch tail about the three kind of. So I start to turn, shift the tails. Ooh. Next type of revert is pretty good in powder. It's where you do it kind of like a, a nollie. So as you go around, it's good to try this on flat first. As you go around, you just go. <laughs> putting good pressure like that. It's easy with speed. With some speed. Drill 10, magic fingers. All right, now we're gonna try the Switch GHN 180. And often when I spin super fast, I have a wide stance like this from the inside edges. But for like beginning, intermediate, it's pretty hard. So I often like to teach them a carved spinning takeoff instead. And then you can, yeah, do a little J-turn first, kind of like this. Okay, so I'm gonna carve across the slope here. That's a J-turn. And then pop, 180. It's more advanced kind of J-turn with a 180. Carve it. Set it off. Whee! Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more, obviously you can join one of our camps here or I made a special playlist for you um, where I'm using some of these drills with real skiers with real problems and can learn from their mistakes too. See you in the next video. Ciao.